What's going on guys, it's Lewis here with Crypto Leads, and I'm going to make this a very, very short video because I'm actually trying to get some sleep, trying to go to bed so that I can wake up super early tomorrow and start making um, a longer video, but I just wanted to get this out here. So this is Bitcoin right here. We're going to go over Bitcoin, Ethereum, and uh, ES1. So right now, what I'm seeing for uh, Bitcoin, this is what happened, is we had this floor right here and we front ran it basically, came up double topped and then uh you know sliced through it which would get everyone extremely bearish and you know i was very bearish down here as well um thinking like we we're gonna come up get a retest of of this this uh little bearish order block down up here and then just fall and keep on falling but we ended up you know recovering recovering and then uh had a little sweep and then recovered from here and now this move right here what this move did is actually broke the market structure to the upside. So we're no longer in a bearish market structure. We're actually in a bullish market structure now. Because if you look at this, um, this obviously was with the low and it went up, 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 up. And this was the previous high. So as soon as this candle right here broke above this level and closed... It broke above the previous high, which means that there is a market structure break to the upside, which means that you want to start looking for longs somewhere. And what I typically do is take the Fibonacci from the bottom to the top and I look for the 61.8. So that actually got tagged right there. Or I look for um, either order blocks or breakers. And in this case, this right here is the bullish breaker. So this is the up candle before the down move that broke the market structure. So just we want just pretend that this never happened and just focus on this right here. We had a, uh, you know, a move down this was the low. And then we had a uh, up move, a few up candles followed by a down move that broke through this and closed underneath this low which means that this was a break in the market structure to the downside which means that you would want to look for shorts in the bearish order block which is this candle right here the up move before the down move that broke the market structure but when this ended up happening and this ended up closing up above the bearish order block, the bearish order block now becomes a bullish breaker. So somewhere within this whole entire bullish breaker is where you want to look for longs. Typically, like I said, I like looking for longs in the 61.8 if it lines up within inside of a bullish breaker. And then you could go into a lower time frame, such as the four hour or the one hour, and look for a bullish market structure break, a sweep, an SFB, you know, something like that. Um, and uh, hold on a second, a uh, <laughs> SF, SFP. I don't know why I said F SFB. I'm thinking of Sam Bankman Fried. But um, yeah, so you just look for things within the, you know, breakers or order box. Uh, you look for candles to basically confirm or uh, deny that there is a trade set up. And so I'm looking for one right now. Um, I don't obviously there's there's no there's nothing right now uh, that I see maybe on the one hour. If you if you go to the one hour, you can actually say that this right here was the bullish, you know, move up. And now and also this looks like uh could be something like this, you know, where goes under, sweeps underneath, and then comes back up, retests, retests, moves up, and now it's uh, retesting down here before continuing to move up. So that's a possibility. I'm going to try to stick to the four hour. Of course, on the four hour, well, actually, I guess I would have to try to stick to the four hour or the one hour because on the four hour, there's not really any, there's no, there's no like moves unless, uh, unless we move up and break up above this then that would be a uh, bullish market structure shift to the upside. But on the on the one hour, we already got it. So I'm thinking that, uh, yeah, I have a long bias. And to be honest, you could actually long. You could pretty much long right now. You could pretty much long this and put your put your stop underneath here. And the targets, the first target would probably be up at 2,800. Second target would probably be um, 28, uh, 28 thousand two hundred and then the third target should would probably be up here so it would be like a sweep of these of this liquidity up uh up there and to be honest 
even up here and up here, even all the way up to, uh, you know, 31,000 is a possibility, but I would probably just start taking, I would take a lot of profits, um, around here just because that's what I would, what I would want to do. Um, and then probably re-enter somewhere if there, if there's another dip, but yeah, if this, if this does end up moving up, then we could, we could see, you know, 29,000, um, even, or, or even up to 30, you know, 30,000 plus. So right now, right now, that's what I'm looking at. Uh, we're pretty much in, we were in, we were in this range. This was the bottom. This was the top right there. So top to bottom ranged and now moved up. So within this range, we had a bullish market structure shift. And so now I'm looking for looking for longs. And if I get stopped out, then that will be uh, that'll be that. And then I'll just have to wait and see. Maybe there's going to be another setup. It's not really the best. And also the the RSD like there's no divergences on the RSD. There's no divergence on the MACD. So can't you know you can't use those. The RS the RSD the RSI uh, the RSI is in the oversold territory, which is pretty good. And, uh, so potentially there's something there, but yeah, that is that that's Bitcoin. I would, I would be more inclined to long than short. Of course, you know, you gotta have your stops in. And if we end up coming down, you know, down here again, I'd probably just, uh, want to get in somewhere, somewhere down in, by 2,500. So yeah. And now we have Ethereum, Ethereum, let me look at Ethereum on the 12 hour array here. So we have Ethereum and this came into the weekly order block. Let's look at the weekly time frame real quick. See what I'm talking about over here. So we had the uh, down, this was the low, this was the high. And um, well, first this was the low, this was the high, and then it broke through. So this became the weekly bullish order block. So somewhere within here, you would expect some type of bullish candles. And we ended up obviously getting that because we moved up here, we moved up here, and then things started looking pretty bearish. But this seems to be just uh, a drawn liquidity so far. Like that's literally what this seems to be is just drawn liquidity. So because this was let me get this out of here because this was um, bought up so quickly and it's like all of this time it's just bought up, bought up, bought up. And then we had this move up. That's sort of like a confirmation. So, and, and, and also we came above these highs, which I think is uh, pretty significant as well. I would look for longs. So just like before you have the low, you have the high uh, plotted out. 61.8 is pretty close to this. I would probably get in um, right here at uh, 18,000. 1,836 instead, because this is the, actually, hold on a second. This is, this right here is, is actually what you do. This is the up move before the down move that broke the market structure back there. And when we rose above it, this whole entire move became a bullish breaker. Sorry, not bullish order lock, bullish breaker because it was. When we came down here, this move right here became a bearish order block. So we would expect the price to come up here and somewhere within this, we get rejected and fall down to probably around here, but it didn't, it just kept on going up and it came up above it. So now this bearish order block turned into a bullish breaker. So technically speaking, anywhere within here, you could get in. I'd rather get in underneath the 50 because underneath the 50 is the value zone or the discount area. And um, also this right here lines up pretty well. So with, uh, with what I'm looking at, because this is major resistance. So I would probably want to do this for Ethereum, something like something like this, and potentially target, potentially target up here, to be honest, uh, 2023. This is this is probably this is obviously a better a better trade better R trade than this. Let me do this. This would be this would be the trade for 
for Bitcoin. Uh, so, well, actually, you know, first you would do this 2.7 and then 3.4 and then eventually you could target up here. Um, but for Ethereum, I think that you could just target up here, like originally. So either Bitcoin or Ethereum is pretty good. Either way, I am long. And either way, if it does end up coming back down, then I'm going to have to get out of my long positions. Personally, I'm not actually long in Bitcoin or Ethereum. I'm long OP, Optimus, because, uh, or Optimism, because uh, of this right here, this, this huge trend line, tagged it at the 78.6. So I scaled in and I am now in this trade. So... I'm hoping that we get a big move up. That would be pretty awesome. As you can see, we have the downward price and we also have an upward RSI. So we have a divergence in the RSI. We also have a divergence in the MACD on the daily time frame. So honestly, I'm super bullish on OP right now. And I think that this is, this is one of the best trades. Um, I'd probably bring this up a little bit but uh yeah i mean right now right now it's a pretty freaking solid pretty freaking solid um looking looking chart with the on especially on the daily with the divergences and the support and the 78.6 so yeah op is my favorite right now and I'm going to get to bed because it is 10 o'clock and I'm trying to actually start this thing called monk mode now. And uh, it's one reason why I'm not, uh, I don't have the camera on is just because I'm trying to get this done so quickly because I'm starting this thing called monk mode. If you don't know about it, um, you could check out my post that I posted about it on Twitter, which is uh, right here which is um, talking about monk mode. And so there is uh, no porn, no alcohol, no drugs, exercise for at least 30 minutes every day, meditate for at least 10 minutes every day, no uh, calf. And then you pick, you pick two or three of these, you know, that you want to do, whichever one of these you choose to do. Um, but these are mandatory. And then you, and then you choose these or, or something else. So yeah, I'm doing monk mode and uh, I'm going to hopefully put out a, sh a ton of videos um, I'm also working on a lot of educational content, so I'll start putting that out and I'm actually going to put that out tomorrow. Um, some stuff on candlesticks and I will start to actually do daily, daily videos. That is, uh, that is one of my goals, um, during monk mode for the next, for the next 21 days. So let's see if I could actually do it. Will it, it will be pretty awesome if I can. And so, yeah, I'm going to end this right now so I could get to sleep so I could wake up early feeling refreshed and get started on some of these educational videos. But yeah, that's uh, my Bitcoin and Ethereum uh, uh, market updates. And the last thing is that, um, I mean, this is, this is pretty solid too. It's, it's above, it's still above, uh, it, I mean... 4,200 is really, is really the area that I wish that it would stay above, but yeah, I mean, things, things are looking pretty bullish for the most part. So, uh, I'm not looking to fade too much. Uh, all right. I need to, I really need to, I really need to go to bed. Um, but yeah, OP is my favorite right now. So I'm going to go to bed and I will talk to y'all tomorrow. Bye.